Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? I wanted to make a video today. I uh, wanted to make uh, my first video, so be gentle. Or not. I don't care. I'll figure it out. But why I wanted to make this video today was because of a couple of dudes. Um, I've been buying figs lately. <clears throat> and uh, got to, I, I got out in touch with a couple of dudes that are uh, really awesome. First of them, Dan Foster from Blue Fig Fruit Farm. They are out of Temperance, Michigan. And uh, I found them on Figbid, but I did pay the full price. I did not put in a bid. Uh, I should have maybe, <laughs> but I don't have patience. I, yeah. And uh, the other gentleman was James Spearman from FigCuttings.com. Uh, first of all, Dan super super dude good dude i could i can't say enough about him i bought a del sin one grand uh, a couple of weeks ago maybe and for whatever reason i lost a big so it wound up being in the mail an extra day but uh you know i may have gotten a hold of some 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 bad compost i'm sure it happens to, to a lot of us but he sent me a uh, Del Sen one grand, like I said, a, a week or so ago, a week and a half ago, and it didn't make it for, for, for whatever reason. And then to my surprise, he sent me a brand new <laughs> plant because of the mishap. The unfortunate that I uh, experienced, I'm not sure, out of the goodness of his heart, he's got to be a good dude. I mean, this was not a cheap plant. You know, I'm rambling, so I'll try to move on anyway. Um, the other guy, James Spearman, Mr. Spearman from FigCuttings.com. I looked him up. Uh, I got him on YouTube because he had a video showing all of the greenhouse that he had. And he had so many dang uh, figs. I, I couldn't. Too many, too many to sh shake a stick at. I wound up ordering four from him that day. And I have two more coming in the mail because they were so cheap. Hopefully, uh, they still have some by the time this uh, video comes out. Oh, I'm sure he will, but I, I, uh, figcuttings.com is where I found him on. And they have been the, the, the cold oak dawn gigantina, for instance. This is the biggest freaking tree I've ever seen or I've ever had uh, ordered on the uh, internet through the mail. It came out super good. Um, I mean, it's 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 been out of the box for uh, you know a week or so, so it's still decompressing. It's doing freaking amazing. And then the other uh, tree that I got from him was an LSU Scotts Black. Looks really really good. Uh, I've got a few crunching leaves, but I'm pretty sure that that happens from time to time. And then the Olympian which is an absolute juggernaut of a plant. It hasn't showed any signs of distress or stress, should I say. And um, it's even got a couple of shoots coming up down from the bottom. Those are gonna come in handy in the future. I'll be able to to, uh, to propagate those, which uh, I've been getting better at propagating. I've been working with figs now for, I don't know, a few years, not really doing anything serious, but I've, uh, I've learned to propagate some, and mm, depending on the reaction I get from this video, maybe I'll uh, show you my, my, my little seedlings, my, you know, the ones I've propagated. And uh, I've, also have, I've also got some taller ones that are really boring right now, because they're just not doing, you know, they're doing big fig things. They're just being boring right now. And, uh, but that's about it. Dang, I hope that's it. You know, do, do the, you know, the YouTube thing, Thumbs up, thumbs down, like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment, whatever you want to do. Tell me if I'm uh, doing okay or what can I do better. How about that? Aside from that, I guess uh, that's me signing off. Uh, well, uh, yeah, thanks for another, in, uh, tuning in for another episode or the first episode of uh, Regular John TV. And I uh, hope, hope you'll see me in the future with some them little pigs over there. All right. Later, y'all.